You can only get things right by getting things wrong. And it's work in progress. It's exciting, it's really exciting. Knowing what works, what doesn't, how we can tweak things. So here we are in the Wye Valley. And in February, this hillside was a scene of activity. Uh, volunteers from the Woodland Trust um, and some mates of mine all out here planting a new tree scheme. It's winter again. Um, we've been through the summer, not quite as much growth as we hoped. And that is down to our pesky, although beautiful neighbors, the deer. There are a lot of them in this part of the world. We knew that they were a challenge and that is one of the reasons why we have a range of tree shelters on all the new trees. We've been trialing, trying to get the most sustainable solution for protecting trees. So the reason that there are a range of different shelters here is that this is all part of a trial, some of which have been more successful than others. In the last six months, we've been receiving reports from Kate about how it's all going. And we're here today to have a look with her and to plan for the future. We started working with Kate at the site assessment and planning stage, as we do with all landowners who approach us for support, as, as Kate did. And because we're running a, a very special trial here, um, we're getting a little bit more involved on coming back to look at the detail of, of how the planting has gone. So, so far after one year, the, the shelters are holding up quite well, the ones that we chose, some better than others. We think we need more height, partly because deer are clever. They can nip up the slope and just lean in over the new trees and nibble off the top. So there's quite a lot of that been happening. So as you can see behind me now, some of the shorter shelters are being replaced by taller ones. So what we're discussing today is not just increasing the height of the tree shelters, but actually, you know, do we plant slightly differently? Do we tighten up some of the planting, which now we're heading into the winter, we can do? Do we look at maybe fencing some areas, creating small deer-proof enclosures just until the trees get away? That's going to be our winter work. And then once that has happened, what we really hope to see in the kind of growing season next year is growth and not all of it being nibbled <laughs> as it emerges out of the top of the shelters. This is the brilliant thing, I think, about this collaboration with the Woodland Trust. You can only get things right by getting things wrong sometimes you know not everything is going to work first time so what we're trying to do here is come up with a really pragmatic practical approach to creating a brand new woodland and it's work in progress it's exciting it's really exciting knowing what works what doesn't how we can tweak things At the end of the day, we want to achieve the landowner's objectives of a woodland mosaic at this site. So um, we, we, we'll know we've achieved success when we have that mosaic and um, we'll have all sorts of mini successes and challenges along the way. There's lots of work to be done. We're not giving up. One day in 20 years time or something, I might be under the soil, but I absolutely believe that there will be a beautiful woodland here with open glade and that glorious pond will be properly full of life and that will be my legacy and I'm quite proud of that. <laughs>